Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Firewatch on the Playframe. Indeed. Yes, we're here. We've been spied upon. The forest is burning down around us, but at least we still have Turt. Turt. Turt will defend us against all of the fencing bears. Turt, please protect us. There's a lot out here that we're having to deal with. And the <laughs> actually. spies. And the fire? Yeah, there's actually a lot of things, Turt. You've got um, your work really cut out for you. Also, this beeping is really annoying me, so I'm going to... But um look, Turt's got an axe, so it's all good. My goodness. Oh, that's right. I have an axe now. <laughs> Turt, I have to take this with me because um, you've got your bear traps or whatever other joke we made an episode or two ago. You have your defenses, Turt. And <laughs> look how smoky it is out here. I need this axe. You need this axe to breathe. <laughs> you heard what I said. <laughs> um, sure. Okay. Wave receiver. Report wave receiver beeping. Yeah, this that's kind of weird. Just pick something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. Hmm. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Dang. Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Mm, maybe a bad idea. Maybe a bad idea. That's true. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. <laughs> what? She is drunk. You're harsh in my vibe. <laughs> my thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. I mean, especially not after the fire got set. True. Ooh, I like it when you think. Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. That is true. Um, how do pears, I... Pears, pears, pears. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. So we're heading the right general direction. Let's figure what this... It's getting quieter now. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make this hmm. stop beeping. <laughs> I'm tired of this beeping. Yeah, but you're running away from whatever's making the beep. See how it's Am getting I? quieter and the signals. No, like, no, like I'm, I'm aiming at it. Like I'm aiming at the thing. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. As you go around things yeah. like hills, the the beeping changes. Yeah, which leads I'm me to think. Not. Oh, maybe it's still pretty distant. I'm not sure. It's I mean, very west of us. That's a lot faster than it was just True. a little ways back, so... Yeah, is the uh, frequency of beeps attached to proximity, or is it just... I believe it is. Okay. Because when we were in the tent, it was like beep, 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 oh, right up yeah, close to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and that's it right. was slower when we were further away. Sorry about all the beeping. I'll fix it, everyone, by solving our mystery. Is it going to take us to the problem bear? I really hope not, because I didn't bring my fencing equipment. <laughs> But how are you going to duel the problem bear? We've made a lot of weird end jokes this episode or this series. It's only five long thus far, and wow. This is what happens when you spend a summer alone in the woods. Okay? Actually, probably so. Yeah, communicating with someone who's been in the woods for an entire summer nearly by themselves must be quite a trip when they get back. Use your axe. Can I? Let's see. Chop that path. Oh yeah, here we go. Chop that path. Didn't even use the axe. What? Ooh. What? Me? what have we here? Hello. Hello, strange backpack. There's a key. What the heck? Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Sorry, I thought it was going to explode. <laughs> I thought that too for a second there. Weird. Okay, uh, I'll take this. Who would I guess? booby trap a backpack? And why? Hmm. And Ooh. of course, that's the cave that cave key. the key got lost to, like... What did she say two or three years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the mm. heck? Let's report. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah. It is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. 
maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. Oh, heck. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh, my God. Go. I'm going. Go where? Towards the man or away? That's okay. Turt will have him in cuffs in moments. He better not touch. Turt. Get him, Turt! Mm. Get out your ex. There's hair on baby's chin. Wait, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> Old family rhyme. Go get the axe. There's a hair on baby's chin. That, huh. <laughs> it's it's I, like um, when your kid's old enough to shave. Right? I see. It's, what verse do, do the bears come in? <laughs> Sorry, for those of you who didn't watch the Celeste playthrough, every single song Carrie knew as a, from childhood, every single rhyme features bears. Not inexplicably. that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it's a baby bear that's got a hair on their chin. I don't know. Gotcha. But you would think that that would be common for bears, so. That's true. Well, free walk, man. I guess. Check on Turk, huh? Just real quick. <gasps> oh no. Oh boy. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? He's freaking out. I specifically asked. <laughs> I can't really blame her. <laughs> I mean, this is... This is not... The good, chill summer we were... Ooh. Over. <laughs> so your little bender isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? No, it isn't, but that's not it. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... What? So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Dang. Well, we'll just stick together. Yes. We just, we have to stick together. Okay, keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. How's Turt doing this morning? Turt, you feeling ready? I wanted to be sure he was safe after the invader yesterday. True. We are going to need you to play defense again today, bud. We need to go to a cave. Be right back, okay? Sit tight. We trust you. If I find anything tasty, I'll bring back snacks. Is it worse out here than it was yesterday? Definitely worse out here. Smoke is bad. Jeez. This is getting rough. It indeed is. Like, you shouldn't be out here in the smoke. You should have a breathing apparatus on. That would help. Kind of rough. Maybe Oof. if we get off our hill, it won't be quite so bad. Uh, so or into the see. cave where the air stagnant. Cave is At the end of the northward. canyon. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so if we wind through there and make our way down. Yeah, okay. Uh, north, 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 north. There we go. Handy. Yeah. I guess you had the compass before, right? It's true. Functionally about the same. But this one has a big letter that changes for you. Easier to read. I do love big letters. 
Uh, we. It's still so beautiful, even with all the smoke. It really is. Even because of all the smoke. Yeah, it does add some nice atmosphere. Not that I really want any segment of nature to burn, but still, it's pretty. I'm sure we could find some segment of nature that could stand a little burning. <laughs> well, we've talked about that before. It is necessary for some forests. Hey, you... You uh... didn't actually make that call, right? No. To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Don't worry about it. I couldn't even if I wanted to. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I kind of thought that might be her kind of logic. That's true. Good choice. Now, this cave, though. At yes. last. Let us see. Two or three years ago. Yes. What someone wanted to hide from us. Let me in. It still seems really weird that that bag was like tied out there and alarmed it does a little bit like was that for someone why would it need to be alarmed wait what i don't know I did something. the door just close on you go back and check the door i guess we should check that real fast i mean i have the key so i'm not super worried about it but um oh yeah i guess it did um close on me maybe there's a spring mm. can't unlock it from this side nifty Oh, heck. Someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. Can't get any damn reception. Awesome. Oh boy. Well, might as well poke around, I guess, as long as we're here. Hmm. It's a huge gash. It is. Uh, what can even... What makes rocks do that? Use Pulaski. The heck's a... Oh, it's the oh. axe. We named our axe? I guess so. Maybe Turt named our axe. Uh, of course. Or it happened in a previous episode and we just forgot. But um. That's also possible. But I'm going to go with Turt named it. This is dangerous. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. You are spelunking in a cave you know nothing about without any caving gear. Sure. And just squeezing through some rocks that we just shook loose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not an expert, but loose rocks seem bad. I'm not an expert, and that's why I don't go into strange caves I don't know anything about. Apes. Also true. Like, that's gonna fall on you. Oh, good, it didn't. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Just every time I do this stuff in Minecraft, I die. <laughs> right? Just don't dig down. I didn't bring don't any dig torches. Don't straight down, and don't dig straight up. You'll be fine. Okay. Mm. Hey, there's something Whoa. down there. Can I zoom? Thought I had a button to zoom. Yeah, there we go. Is huh. anybody down there? A shoe. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hello. Fencing bears. Did you leave your shoes when you changed into your fencing gear? Do you bears have special fencing shoes? Because if so, you are really well equipped. It's fencing gear. There's shoes and there's everything. Like, toe to tip. I guess I just didn't expect bears to be, I don't know, <laughs> to have all of the regulation equipment. Listen, these aren't just any bears. These are the problem bears. I suppose that's true. Oh. Well, well that, that worked out. Well, that gate was kind of pointless, I guess. I am free. Yeah. yeah, there we are. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. 
I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Where mm. am I? Uh, You're up by the telephone poles. Uh, oh, here we are. Yeah, wow, I really got off track a bit there. Uh, that cave went for a ways, It huh? really did, yeah, more than I expected. How? I guess it just goes under that hill. Hmm, best way to get back. Let's figure this out. I can't step over branches that we've established. Right, that's right. Uh, is something? Here's something. That's a something. Hello. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. This is really cute. Aww. There's a little aeroport and everything. He yeah. wasn't done. He was like building this up. Brian knew about the bears. Brian did know about the bears, and he knew that they'd have a hard time getting to him if he had arrow slots to That's right. shoot out of. Gotta get ranged weaponry. Get out of the reach of their swords. That's how you defeat a problem fencing bear. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Let's look around here. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. I like it. CS or GS? Uh... Do you figure? You know? It's probably something on that map that he made. I bet you're right. Or something else that we'll find here to explain it, because it's obviously not uh, good ones. So probably, probably GS, maybe for good wins. Hmm. That's odd. GS there too, and that one definitely yeah. looks like a GS. Yeah. That's with a sword. Is good it... swords. <laughs> good swords. Hmm. Oh wow! There's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah. Watch okay. this stuff down there. There's a there's Pardon a me? there's a Game Boy. There's a Game Boy. Oh yay. Oh wait, that's not a Game Boy, but it is something. What is it? Oh just a generic video game toy. <laughs> there's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah. I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. Ooh. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Hmm. Still a lot of stuff out here. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Note, note to, to a ranger. ranger. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Let's see I what this says here. Or I didn't remember that Ned was forcing him to climb. Yeah. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, uh, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me to get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. I will hang on to this. Uh, report nerdy document. <laughs> oh dear.
I want to see his character sheet. There's some dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva. That's what GS stands for. Ah, uh, yeah. Seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Let's get some details here. There's... This really is, like... All right. All right. Let's see. Character, Gladius Silva. Chaotic good, half-elf, ranger, level four. Uh, age 29. Let's height five, eight, see. Weight 135. All about stamina, knowledge, and cleverness, I guess. And dump stat is brawn. Okay. I suppose. So brawn, agility, stamina, clever, knowledge, and moxie? moxie? I assume so, yeah. Which would be... Charisma. Yeah, charisma, wisdom, intelligence. intelligence agility. Which, well, agility. Well, okay, maybe that's agility and... That's probably strength. This is probably brawn is probably con. strength, uh, and yeah. then stamina is probably yeah constitution. Yeah. Uh, Two-handed special abilities, armor seven, studded leather. Uh, Yo, folks used to have saving throws that. That's interesting. That's true. I, I don't like, like that's different than using the the modifier from your. They're just straight using the con stat for the poison. Yeah. And it's a little different than D&D. Yeah. That At I'm least, used to playing. Yeah, like I, I didn't really start actually dipping into D&D &D until 4th edition came along. So there's a lot of way yeah. old classic D&D &D that I do not know. Uh, let's see. Longsword. Longsword just lots dagger, of good stuff. Battle axe. <laughs> We've got one of those. Kind of. Let's see. And radio Ooh. diagram. Ooh. Interesting. Uh... There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Huh. So the wattage on that resistor is too high. Okay. So the kid was drawing it up and then getting uh, corrections and notes and stuff written as well. Yeah. Okay. It's been ages, but they actually taught us how to do those diagrams in my grade seven shop class. I do vaguely remember having a class that included something like that somewhere. I've forgotten yeah. all of it. It's, uh, it's kind of a neat little thing to have now. Yeah. Uh, postcard. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Aw. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Let's see. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad uh, fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Oh, wait, wait. There was a... The illustration... Oh, the illustration overleaf was created by Gary Boss. I don't think I can flip it over. Maybe oh, if I you can can't? drop it. Um, it will disappear. Ta-da! Vanish! Magic. <laughs> a magic trick you just did. I will take this bundle here that must be the anchors and not a bundle of scissors which is what i was thinking it was <laughs> it didn't make sense but i mean all the more to run with uh <laughs> hand-drawn schematic okay yeah the, well no wait this is different oh, this hang is on a different one this yeah. is different hey remember that pack i found back on your second day yeah i found a plan brian drew about how he was going to get it back Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. Sure is. It was full Some of rope. He hid the stuff, ropes. I'll tell you that much. Oh, oh, yeah. Either he dropped it. No, no. Or he hid the rope. But he also lost the camera. Oh, that's true. Maybe he was trying to get it back. Maybe this was a, a thing he was building to get it back from where we found it. Sharp kid. Very. Let's see. What else have we got around here? Science homework? 
Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? No, I'm shut up. I'm just saying I'm pretty, <laughs> uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. <laughs> nice. Ouch. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so the joke's on you. <laughs> don't know if I want to read all of this, but uh, I yeah, do. just Ooh. okay. Well, all right, well, we'll read it. Uh, this will be easier. Uh, Brian Goodwin, Hamilton Science Fair, rough draft. Uh, talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think that I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you're thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie like Fly to the Navigator, but not real. But <laughs> it's not real. But you're wrong. It is real. It is science. It is possible because of meteor scatter. Communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real, but what it is? MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors, upon their atmospheric entry, can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communications paths between operators up to 1,500 miles away. It's oh pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the Army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles from my house. We're going to try to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that it won't work and we'll have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish a communication. Neat. That's really cool. Also, Flight of the thought. Navigator, yes. <laughs> I have not watched that in a very long time. We watched it so many times when I was little. I don't exactly know why, but it was like we saw E.T. once and then Flight of the Navigator like a zillion times. It's like, I trust that it's probably an okay movie. I, it seems like one of those that could actually just be quite dumb. <laughs> and I, mean, I wouldn't have known as a kid. It, I guess it. It is what it is. It's a story about a kid getting taken by aliens to be the human representation of his species on the ship. And then shenanigans, and then he has to, like, step up and fly the ship is all I can remember. That's more than I can remember, honestly. Fun doodles, though. Yeah. Uh... Got his character name. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Some pretty and decent that's that. like figure studies. Let's see here. Loose stone. Where's that loose stone? Uh oh. Give Oh, I thought it was the bigger stone. Dang it. Guess that's it around here. There's a dinosaur. There's a, a toy game, I can't. Wait, can, can I pick up the toy? I don't think I can pick up the toy. No, I think you can. Oh just wait, I can't pick up the toy. It. Oh, you can. Phenomenal. Uh you've got a new game to hooray. play. Give. Uh, ah, broken. Never oh. mind. Alas. Well. All right. Uh. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get so many pillows? Like, that's four pillows that he and his dad, what, wouldn't miss? I wonder if my bed back in the tower has pillows. <laughs> Maybe not. If it doesn't, then I might have found where the pillows went. <laughs> uh, oh, I can get the dinosaur. Hooray. I'll bring it with for now. Until I find something else I have to pick up. It can be friends with Turt. Oh, hooray. Turt, we wait, made you a friend. Also, wait, there's books. There is you books. Hang on. You didn't look at the books. Uh, book, 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 book. Certain nerds here care very much about you looking at the books. Certain nerds who will remain nameless. <clears> uh... <throat> Five degrees north, and... You're going to have to put down the dinosaur to pick yeah, up. I think it. you're right. Sorry. Uh, and, uh, oh, comic book under that. Okay, you hang on. you got to put down the dinosaur if you're going to learn to play the saxophone. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even... What are even... you talking about? <laughs> I don't even know what it's from. It might be from Sesame Street or something. Put down the ducky if you want to play the saxophone. Okay, yes, that I recall. That <laughs> that song I do now. Boy, you really just sort of hard reset my brain there. I'm booted back up now and ready to learn about the comic book. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I said, put down the dinosaur if you want to pick up the book. And <laughs> the pattern was too similar, so I had to reference. <laughs> Shut up. No, no, I'm glad you did. I just was very confused. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah, it kind of is a little bit. But okay, now I think we've explored all the stuff. Also, the issue is called Fortress Wall. And it's here where this fortress wall is. Nice and consistent branding he's got in here. I guess. Uh, let's see, oh, I'll leave maybe, that there. maybe the issue isn't called Fortress Wall. Maybe the cursor, the reticle just drifted over the fortress wall while you were holding the comic book. That might well be, yes. That makes more sense. I'm going to finish decorating. I think you should. Here we are. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay. Lady of Sylvan or whatever his name is will be very proud. Pick up the dinosaur. Fine fortress and you're coming with me. Dino is Turt's new friend. Yes. Let me see if I can figure out a way back to my place here. Uh, Hang on, oh, dinosaur. Oh, cracked rock. Yep. Okay. Here we go. You might have to throw the dinosaur down the cliff before you go. Possible. Uh, yep. Good. Come on, let me put it away. Fooey. Uh. Can you rappel anyways? Mm, come Sorry, on. repel. <laughs> There we are. I know the right way to see it. I just... Hopefully I still have the dinosaur. We'll find out. Together. Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks. Run Thanks. saved. What? I don't know. I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Not really, but... No. No, I think I'm probably good. Bring on jail. <laughs> You'd probably just get probation. I'd be the one stuffed away in the Lusk women's prison for the next ten years. We... Dinosaur? Yes. Dinosaur. Sorry, every time I see your hands without the dinosaur in them, <laughs> I get worried that the dinosaur won't be there when your hands come back. Yeah, no, whenever the dinosaur is not on screen, everyone should be wondering, where's dinosaur? <laughs> uh, how do I get... Home? Yeah, I can't pull up my map while I'm holding the dinosaur. <laughs> do you do you need to set the dinosaur down for a moment? Temporarily, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. If we follow this path, we're gonna have to climb though, and I don't know if I can climb. No, wait, I can climb with dinosaur. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely taking this back first. All right. Sit tight, everyone. Oh, hello. Problem bear was here. Seems so. My dinosaur has tracking powers. Beep, oh, beep, no. beep, 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 goes the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur, are you hungry? Is this what you were looking for? You probably haven't oh. eaten in a while. You were up in the fortress for Love. years. Please just oh. deal with it. All right, all right. It's sad, and I don't want to make jokes about the poor dead deer. Uh, I've got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. You think it got wise to a government program? Shut up. Huh. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah, it's numbered. It makes sense. Maybe they were tracking elk at that site. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? Yeah, sure. They could be. You're definitely convincing her. Yeah. Keep talking. Super convincing. Is it... Sid. The number said 3871, okay. if that matters. I don't know if it does. Interesting. Okay, we'll start. So I can imagine a world where, yes, they were tracking elk, and for fun, they picked up our radio frequencies and were also tracking us. 
That does seem like the most likely thing. And like the the positional tracking was the one thing that didn't seem consistent with our actual with like our actual patterns. Because like there because like we saw maps that showed some like oh, yeah, tracking and it's right. like that it didn't it it didn't make sense. Di yeah, it didn't like track with where we had been and where we'd gone. Like none of the routes made a whole lot of sense if they were keeping track of where of our movements. But uh but a lot of the other stuff, I mean Unless the deer were having walkie-talkie conversations that they've been listening in on, which were suspiciously similar to ours with similar names, then they were definitely listening in on us and they and doing more than just tracking deer. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the deer. Like, <laughs> who knows? Maybe they were LARPing uh, humans. Also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. Yay! They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Glad they're not dead. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. I agree. I've also lost track of which direction I'm going. Ah, the correct one. Ooh. Happy day. All right. Come Sit on, tight, everyone. Dino. We're going to get ourselves and this dinosaur to our tower. And this time I will not put Turt's toy in with Turt because those things disappear. Because Turt oh, eats them. That's right. You're not supposed to eat antlers, Turt. Turt, this is a friend for looking at, not for eating. <laughs> <laughs> we know your all-consuming hunger <laughs> drives you to eat everything you can touch, but... But this dinosaur is higher up the... Food chain? Yeah. <laughs> so, show it some respect, Turt. It's not your, like, superior officer or anything. But it is your ancestor. Yes. So, like, kind of your ancestor. Maybe. Kind of. Actually, I guess these turned into birds. My point is, respect your elders, Turt. <laughs> Turt might have some bird blood in him, dude. <laughs> There's a lot we don't know about Turt, I guess. We've only been with him a few weeks, I mean. That's true. And we barely asked him any questions. Yeah, you can't learn everything about a turtle in just a couple of weeks. Turt, tell us about you. Enough about us. Let's talk about you, Turt. Where'd you go to school, Turt? <laughs> Do you like sports? <laughs> Do you like climbing? We know that one. We're gonna make it and give our turtle a toy. Mm -hmm. But not in the actual thing because the turtle will eat it. Okay. Open and success. All okay. right. And I'm going to set this. Hey, where should we put this? That it'll be safest. Let's put them on your desk. Mm, okay. Because. Although I'm worried stuff get, might get shuffled around again. Because, like, oh. some, this is a place where, like, things get added sometimes. Under your desk? The bed might be safe. Nothing's ever moved on the bed before. But then again, nothing had really moved in the box True. before. Maybe we can just set it here? Uh, No. Come here, dinosaur. Um, over on the bookshelf. The bookshelf is for keeping things. Let's put it there. Except certain books seem a little unruly here, but... <laughs> you know what? Whatever. <laughs> the dinosaur will teach them to be better. All right, dinosaur, hang out there. Guard the books. Now, Turt, guard the rest. Turt, guard the, the dinosaur. Dinosaur, guard the house. Yes, watch each other's backs. Um, I gotta go back to a cave. Could you real quick? There's a tool chest in there. A tool chest, you say? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's to your left on the floor. Ah, yeah. I, I just never can't do anything it. with it. Okay. I also have a... F ah, goodness. I could have fixed this whole problem ages ago. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Sit tight, fire. Jeez. Can't move it. It's stuck. Uh... <laughs> oh, well. All right. <laughs> Somebody spilled a cup of juice there, and it dried, and now <laughs> the fire extinguisher's stuck there. <laughs> These are definitely the words of someone who recently spilled a cup of coffee on their desk. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay, back to the cave. Okay. Um, can we maybe, like, prop it open or something? I guess it's not going to stop ah, someone dang. from... Oh, yeah. I was going to say we could put up rock, The but... safest thing I could do is walk backwards into this cave. <laughs> definitely, definitely A+. 100% number one safety expert. I've there. strategized. Got my yes. eye on you. Okay. Slam! 
No. All right, here we are. Let's go see what we can see. I'm gonna get our turtle a shoe. Church gonna have so many toys by the end of this day. You know, really is. We could always go back and get more of, of Brian's stuff from the fort. That's true. Uh, okay. What do we got Wait, down here? Where's the shoe? I think that was down a different drop. Uh, the one that wasn't climbed, but it was a little further in. Oh. Although okay. we might be heading in the direction of that now. I think we are. Because we're headed the same way that we did above. Yeah. Hello. Roughly speaking. I'm amazed this is like. Obviously, I haven't spent much time in caves, but I'm amazed this is like still like this that there are places underground that are just hollow yeah it is neat it's really i would be too chicken to go into them oh man yes but it's cool they're there yeah fascinating bears i'm coming down i don't want you to be startled you just man now you won't get that surprise round hmm I don't think I wanted to attack the bear. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. Oh, God. You're probably a good one. Mm, broken climbing gear. Your stuff gave out. Poor fucking kid. Let's see. See. And we can't I'm call so out yet. Sorry, kiddo. Yeah. Jeez. Um, okay. This is going to sound morbid. Mm-hmm. Should you take a photo? Uh I feel like no. I think okay. if we go out and just report, like, yeah, uh, yeah, like okay. people who would need photos of that will get it before moving body and all that. I I wasn't thinking. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I don't want to subject a poor Walgreens clerk to that. <laughs> Good point. I don't think it's a crime scene that they would need crime scene photos of. Because true. But he um more an evidence like this is what happened to him kind yeah. of thing but I think you're right yeah I don't think anything's going to change between now and when authorities get here yeah it just doesn't feel good to take that kind of photo either it's a darn large cave though I feel like and I may be wrong but I feel like most actual caves you can wander into probably aren't like this spacious and large I don't know I guess I don't know look on the ground please uh, behind you? Behind me? Uh, sneak? No, just a little pattern on the ground. Sorry, I thought it was a sneak. No it snakes. was not a sneak. Yeah, this seems quite huge. It really does. Big and quite intimidating. Like, this is a cave I wander into in the starting zone of a World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is enormous. I expect yeah. trolls down here. Brian didn't like climbing, though. That's true. Why was he in here? I mean, he might have expected trolls, too, but if he really hated climbing enough to hide the, the yeah, gear... Yeah, what would he have... What would he have been doing in here? Like, unless Ned was also, like, leading him down here, and that's where just... Uh, oh, gosh. Which you could think have been, Ned like, was with him? Maybe? Like, I don't know. I don't know a lot about Ned, other than Ned, like... Like, yeah, because the kid... Holy why else heck. would a kid climb? Like, he certainly wasn't desiring to. Do you think Ned brought his kid here and made him climb with subpar gear because the kid had hidden the real stuff? I, I doubt, like, that there was anything... Like, I wouldn't think that I there would be anything, like, vindictive malicious, or no. malicious, just that, like, just maybe just their stuff gave happened to give out. I don't know. But, like, if... If... Brian had hidden the good climbing gear 
and then the bad stuff they had, the older stuff or whatever it is, gave out. That's really, really horrible. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Uh. Call search and rescue. Yeah. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I think it was an accident. Yeah. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry. Mm, yeah. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's, there's, there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Looks like we're leaving then. Yeah. Turt. Hmm? Pack up your bag. Get packed, Turt. Pack your dinosaur. I was trying. I was trying to make it a portmanteau between Dino and Delilah. <laughs> you see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Yikes. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? I mean, we could talk about the savage burn of naming this fire after your lookout. We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look. I think whoever's out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. No. <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. <laughs> I was hoping oh, you'd have well, a plan. That's nice. Hmm. All right. Pack up dinosaur. Well, I can't put dinosaur in my pockets, so let's... Can you put dinosaur... Hmm. We'll put it on top of the supplies boxes to make it clear. This goes with. There yes. we go. Dinosaurs packed up and coming with us. And Turt's in your bag? Yep. Turt's officially adopted. Good. Cause Come with me, Turt. I need defense. Turt doesn't need to be out in this air any more than you do. Yeah, hold your breath, bud. Did you just say you need to fence? Huh? Well, I said I need defense, but <laughs> if case we do need to fence, that's <laughs> Turt. I'm calling you in as my second, okay? I was going to say... Are you expecting to find a bear at the end of this transmitter? I or... certainly hope not, but we have not yet found the bear, so that is kind of one of the other hanging threads. Who knows? Uh, where are we headed here? All right, generally westward. Okay. Let's go looking. Quick lake. It's burning out here. Right? Sorry, I'm a little caught up on the whole lake tragedy that we're too late to prevent yeah. ness of this it just kind of 
kind of a bummer's thing to think about. It is a bit melancholy. In the midst of this nightmarish forest fire escape. Did you hear that? Oh, I did hear something. I couldn't tell what it was, though. Like a ticking sound. Yeah. Audio is a little too low for me to tell what it was. Oh, this thing's far off. Are we heading towards the medicine circle? Uh, I don't... I think that's more south than west. Although... I certainly don't have this area memorized. Uh, ah, uh, we're passing it. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, heading we're toward, passing it. Heading towards the lake? Possibly the lake. Though maybe not that far. It is starting to beep a little faster. I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Yes, we've seen it. We're familiar. It does seem to be the lake. Or at least... That's where you're headed right now. I think so, yeah. Uh... Can't even see. Yeah, just more west. Alright. Like, it's getting so bright. Yeah, and it's... And orangey-yellow. This is really freaky. It's a bit intense out here. The sparks in the air aren't really doing anything good for me either. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that fires this size are like a completely different creature from a little fire that you're used to having, like a bonfire or whatever. I wonder if sparks really do float out in the air like this. Yeah, I wonder if, like, that's just sort of a artistic thing to uh, sell the feel of it, or if it's uh, how it actually is. I don't know. Uh, Definitely getting hotter. Alright, yeah, now we're... We've gone far enough west, now it's just... Uh, Close. Henry? Oh. Well, what? Cool. Uh, cool? Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, hi, Henry. Causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for crock's sake. Mm -hmm. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? 
What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. Deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. You need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Can I? Oh, yes. Ah, his hideout. He's... Did he plant the dialogues that you two were talking about in that camp then? Possibly so. Because he, he must Where have been not... Where would he not... get the typewriter to type it up? Uh, fine question. Maybe we'll find one around here. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's see here. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Mm, yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. <sighs> mm, maybe not that one. Uh... Can you take that with you? Hmm. I think I had better not take that. Take anything from here. Oh. Why? But I don't know if I can put it back. You can always drop it. True. But. I don't know. Okay. Evidence from the murderer's hideout seems like a thing to leave. Although I guess it's just going to get all burned anyway, but. See, winter needs 1989, propane, cords, backup firewood, a lot of food, uh, 100 here, 300 buried, lots of winter jackets, blankets, box matches, books, battery power, lots of socks, new boots maybe, duct tape, dry elk skin, summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. Oh. I was really doing the survivalist thing out here. Like, really? Report draft? I bet that's... Those are the drafts of the reports that we saw. Yeah, I bet you're right. Uh, let's see here. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. Loose entrance. Yeah. Mm. Staff return August 1st to do return barred equipment. Erase... Uh, evidence of us. Evidence of us and leave no trace. Uh, so, yeah. So he was using their stuff and their site while they weren't there, which is to why... To get on to us. Yeah. yeah. And that's also why there's only one bed messed up in their... Oh, yeah. In their tents. Sleeps three, but one of them was disturbed. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, well, more of these things. Yep. <laughs> Never. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you make a mistake on a typewriter and not a computer. <laughs> Boy. Ah. Typewriters. Wow. Goodwin so he must have set the fire. Reports I found at the site. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's how he was clearing all traces. Wow. Especially, it looked like maybe he would have tried to actually be cleverly hide it if he'd had time, but then he saw, like, oh, shoot, they're coming back sooner than I thought. Yeah. Gotta make a plan. Uh... And once we'd, well, I wonder if us finding it had anything to do with, with this. Quite possibly. Like if we hadn't found it, he maybe would have kept on going. Yeah. That is quite possible. Uh, workbench. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. Looks like that's from taking apart a cassette player. This or a radio. boombox looks familiar. Oh, yeah, I took the girl's boombox. The girl's boombox, yeah. I wanted to steal those tunes. <laughs> he was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. Yeah, sorry. I guess I don't have to report all this. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, 
take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Hmm, I don't call her about stuff, but uh, let's see. Books, Books and beer can. The beer that he... That the girls definitely didn't hike out with all that much beer. Yeah, he probably swiped some. No, uh, no, I mean, they didn't bring that much beer here. Ah. Uh, because there were cases and cases of the stuff. That's true. Uh, let's see. Radio logs. A bus? I think so, yeah. Hmm, okay, so let's let's see here. Uh, March 14th, first ranger fly fishing at Jay Lake. Reminder, rainbows hitting cat flies. Uh, saw Mama Grizzly on morning hike. Did she have a fencing suit? Hmm, presumably. Uh, let's see, a rainy week, water stock's good, smoking trout while hiker's gone, uh, Brian's birthday on April 5th, saw mm -hmm. first ranger of the year, haven't left base in two weeks, three weeks, stir crazy, big hike tomorrow to the cave, uh, new lookout in two forts, Henry in two forts, saw two forts coming out of cave, uh, Delilah calling for hiker's list, uh, something her she'll forget delay her she'll forget mm. uh that's when he went and cut off the yeah cut that's, the cable yep 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 and blamed it on the blame it on the teens yep. uh may 2nd hiked to bt point severed radio com uh delilah never called for hiker list re-rigged delano to pick up dual frequency uh can hear uh delilah and two forts concurrently uh two forts hiked by cave seems less interested Two forts, J Jules, Julian, Julia, not sure. Two forts is a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizzly in two months. Uh, oh, I was drunk again. Don't need that, I guess. Uh, get a room. <laughs> Reminder: scout migration due to fire. Uh, fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder: hide supplies for migration. Uh, D and two forts suspect conspiracy. Funny if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave ideas no start he, working on reports record all comms oh vandalize gosh. deep tower uh he made up the conspiracy because we thought there was a conspiracy yeah yeah he had oh to start really gosh. like finding ways to cover up the He's actual every source bit a nerd as his son is like every bit as much a nerd as his son is yeah very much was. so just different flavors of nerdery yeah uh try to make remote recording device uh University research site, move, pit against each other. Uh, stakes too high, no one will believe. Uh, Brian was happy. Make uh, D and Two Forts less believable. Two Forts crazy, like wife, not a good guy. Uh, Mama Grizzly back. They heard me, fully believe there is a program. Use this. Uh, reports final, make sure they find them. Two forts almost caught me at sight. Reports worked. Recorded call. Used for leverage. Two forts found supplies. How? Key's gone. Can't let two, two forts find Brian. And already did, so. Yeah. All his plans failed, and he just had to bail. And in bailing, he had to reach out to you. Yeah. Which is really interesting. Over this whole time, he's developed... From his side, he's developed a relationship with you and Delilah. A little bit. And also, like, I think he recognized that, like... This was his chance to try to explain himself to and someone. like to yeah, yeah to make himself not look good but make it look slightly less bad or at least get it oh yeah at least get away to uh explain and hearing Delilah spend the whole summer talking about how much she enjoyed Brian probably like knowing that this person will remember your kid fondly and so letting her know what happened to him. I mean, I know he didn't just out and out tell Delilah what was up. But yeah. I think there's something to that, that that someone will know. That he won't be the only one out there who knows what happened to his son. Yeah. Let's see here. What okay. Up? All right. Well, I don't know. That's such a horrible 
to me, such a horrible life that he's doomed himself to. Yeah. Alone in the woods forever. But, like... Even... Even if we assume he's telling the truth, he didn't actually mean to hurt Brian, this was all a horrible accident, he's still a... a terribly negligent, like, criminally negligent father. Yeah. And, like, like he volunteered to come out here to do Firewatch stuff, so he, like, it... He definitely seems like he was something of an outdoorsy guy himself, though mm -hmm. Brian wasn't, and Brian just made his own fun out here. Yeah. Uh, so, like, maybe just this life, though it certainly isn't one that he would want, is one that he's been able to, like, kind of make do and adapt to and just be fine. And there's got to be so much guilt on him for bringing Brian out here. Yeah, he's clearly still paranoid about being found out as well, which is, yeah. And for pushing Brian to do a thing that he didn't like and wasn't good at. And yeah. for Brian dying during that. And so maybe living out here alone with no one is part of like a self punishment or something. Yeah, there's that as well. All right, so I we need know. to head north. Uh, yeah. Right now you're aiming down towards the lake, if I'm not, or up towards the lake, if I'm not mistaken, which might be the easiest way to go, honestly. Uh, Take Thunder Canyon up. So I need to go this way, and then, well, that, you might be right. Well. Given where you are. Yeah, you got a point. Let's you could do either the, do Thunder Canyon up, or you can go up past the Two Forks again. We, we've seen a lot of Two Forks lately. Let's do, let's go by the lake, loop around, and yeah, just going through the canyon will probably be easiest, and then we can uh, head up there. Cool. That'll be that. See what the lake looks like with the fire. Yeah. Jeez. The whole sky. I mean, I guess sky. just a lake near a fire, but still, yeah. it'll be fun to see. Whole sky is like. Wow. Breathing cannot be super comfortable in this. Right? I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. He wasn't a good dad. He wasn't a good dad. No fucking shit. But... But what? What, Henry? You're gonna defend him? God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. It's not your responsibility. It's his. Yeah. You didn't do anything wrong. I mean... Yes, I did. She did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> he? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. It'll be like ten okay. minutes. Okay, uh, one second. We're close. On the way. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Okay. Uh, what if they don't... Uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about uh, something? I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. Just wait. I'm going to go. Okay. If you have to. I have to. Hike safe. I'll try it, but I'm also trying to hike fast because helicopters and fire. Have mm. I gone too far? Those two things don't really go together. No, you're good. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess I missed one exit, but there, there's two options here. Uh, the other one is the climbing one that we had a hard time finding, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. And I might need to be higher up actually to get to it, so this is probably easier. Yeah. And we get more time with our feet in the creek. <laughs> Which has to feel good out here with all of this. The air is probably Heat very and thick and dry and yeah. the um, Yeah. Is 
go. The woods all look the same when they're burning. I think we actually ended up in the other pathway anyways. It's quite possible. Nope, nope. I'm wrong. We are good. I just thought we were headed somewhere else. It's amazing. We've spent all summer here, and I still don't know my way around. Yep. And our second time through the game, too. Right. We're no better at navigating this tiny patch of woods. I will mention, actually, now that you've brought that up, like, this is why I wanted to pick up Turt. This is why we brought him. It's true. Now we save him from the fire. Yeah. When we saw him, I, I knew that this ended in fire, and I didn't want our... A little turtle we saw to die in the fire. And I didn't want him to get burnt up. So. Now we have a pet who yeah. can defend us from anything. But especially bears. But especially bears. Hey, have we been eaten by bears this entire trip? No. You yeah. know why? Turtle. It's been weeks since someone saw the last grizzly. Darn right. Now they know Turt's here. Turt Reynolds protector of the forestry service. Yes. He's coming for you, Smokey. In my pocket, because he can't go very fast. I'm sort of his transport. <laughs> Look, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So one thing you have to know about Turt. He can't go very fast. But he's he's persistent. I can't imagine how you're getting turned around in all of this smoke and fire and confusing terrain and Yeah, you'd think that this would be fairly been. straightforward, but uh nope. Woods on fire. Almost there though. I think. Yes. Getting close. Getting close. Uh, wait. Hang on. No. I don't think that's a way. That's not correct or ideal. Uh, hang but on. But we're right where the arrow says we should be, yeah? Oh my gosh, map. Yeah, it's sometimes, like, oh, if, I use the, little... if I use the left stick, then I move and the map moves around, so like, sure, I, sure. I just get mixed up which stick I'm supposed to use sometimes. You're in a weird little jog off of the path. I am. You need I need to, to backtrack a bit. And follow the... Yeah, here we go. Maybe, or maybe further up. Further up. Here we yeah. go. Keep going. Dog on it. Keep going. Curse you rocks. There's the turn. <laughs> Who put all these rocks on this mountain? Oh, indeed. Why are these mountains so rocky? Are these the Rocky Mountains? I think so. Okay, good. I really hope was so. That That's kind of what my joke was making? really counting on it. <laughs> I did not get it at first. I'm sorry I missed your joke and thought it was my joke and tried to make it and made a worse version of it. <laughs> we can share the joke. Joint custody of joke. Okay. And turd. And dinosaur. Well, dinosaur if dinosaur makes it out. Dinosaur will make it. We don't have any of our boxes. I guess it's true. Maybe, maybe the meadow our towers in won't burn. Somehow. Maybe they'll protect it. They'll get it. All right. Uh, yes. We're going to make it. Do you want to take a, a photo of the lift across in all this yellow? That's a good idea. Let's do it. And, uh... Hmm. One more of the scenery for kicks. Just since we have some shots left. Yeah. Uh, I ended up not being as shot happy as I thought I would be, but that's kind of par for the course when there are people around. I hate making other folks stop for my photography. We did get a lot of shots of the best places, though. We did, yeah. Like, there were spots that we found that photos needed to be taken, and photos got took. That's true. We have a nice little combination of uh, beautiful scenery and admissible evidence, <laughs> all in one camera. <laughs> hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, she, are you there? She's not there. She left. Delilah? Oh, well, whatever. That feels so horrible. It does. 
She's always been there, and now she's not. Turd is our only friend at the end of the day. I mean, isn't that how it always was? I'm sorry, that was a little dark. Delilah was always our friend, too. Hey. Ah. That fire watch. Yeah. We've got a good logo. Now we can spy on her stuff. <gasps> Go on up. Check out her tower. I'm gonna. Wait, can we get a picture of our tower from hers? No, no there's no. a good... No. Keep going up. Keep going up. <laughs> There's like no way. <laughs> yeah, there is no way. But maybe we'll get like a break in the, it's the like smoke. All smoke. It is all smoke. All but the maybe... time. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Just go in. Yeah, Never it's, it's, mind. it's all smoke. <laughs> I don't think Hers you were even. much more precariously perched, it feels like. Yeah. You weren't even looking in the right direction. Wasn't I? I don't think so. I couldn't tell you what the right direction was. Again, smoke. And I think you just walked past the door. No, I did. I've just been looking around. Oh, okay. Okay. What you got in here? Oh, look at how cute. Yeah, hers looks much nicer. Is this her doodle of us? No, it's not. No, I don't <laughs> think so. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Crosswords. Yep, bunch of crosswords. Uh, desk radio, the headset, equip. Huh. Hello? Is anybody there? Now you're the Delilah. Yes. Hi. <gasps> yeah, it's me. Oh, hi. Hey! I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, and turn. Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Another he friend for Turk. for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. Hmm. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Let's see here. Come to Boulder with me, move to Santa Fe, become a crossword editor at the New York Times. Move to Santa Fe. Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a jade emporium with your sister. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't think uh, she would so have come with us. No, I don't think I so. I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. <laughs> I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Would you? Henry, I... Look, oh. you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I meant that as, like, a hypothetical question. I didn't mean literally, would you go see Julia? Yeah. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? 
Yeah. <laughs> you should try to take her advice too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. Anything else to see before we go running to the helicopter that will save our lives? Slippers. Slippers. Okay, let's go. <laughs> she didn't really take anything either. Yeah. Not a lot of time. Uh, all right. Or a lot of hands or space in a helicopter or... <laughs> also true. Come on, Turt. Come we're going to take you on some adventures. We told you we were going to show you the world, and now we will. <laughs> on the closest thing to a magic carpet ride we can afford. Honestly, we can't afford this. Nope. <laughs> but... The price is right, though. Yep. Aren't we supposed to duck or something? Everybody always ducks in the movies. I probably would in please, real life. Please pull us in. And we Man. did it. And thank you, Campo Santo. Thank you so much. For a very good game. I hope that you're happy on whatever you're working on now at Valve. For those of you, those of them who are still there, of course. Mm. Excited to play whatever it is they do make and work on. So do you come out of this just feeling a little bit sad? I a think it is melancholy? very much a uh, melancholy. James Benson's a very nice fellow, by the way. Got to meet him at GDC. Aww, um, yay. Also worked on Ori in the Blind Forest. Just oh, dang. Excellent person. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it, it's very much a uh, melancholy thing. Oh, it's our photos. A melancholy ending uh, to this thing. I want the chance to meet up with Delilah, not to pursue a romance, but a friendship. Yeah. She's really important to us now, but she doesn't seem to think we're important to her. And that's sad. I suspect. And obviously all of the loss is sad yeah i mean I, I mean i expect that she's somewhat used to like faces coming and going uh, yeah. who've been in these other things and also like maybe just the wildness of the thing we experienced together would make this a little bit more memorable but then also the really sad ending and right. to it i could see her just kind of being ready to uh leave this <laughs> just sure. uh, leave yeah. this whole thing in memory and just to uh, move on I was just thinking, what if we never told her that we found Brian? But then we would have left her with the fear that all of this is going to fall apart or something. Yeah. Hey! Oh, it's that first one where we accidentally... <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Are we going to see photos that oh, Brian took? We might. Yes. Dinosaur. dinosaur! Turt, look, it's your friend coming to see you in the tower. His dad. Yep. There's the kiddo. There's the kid. He looks so excited. I wonder who took that shot for him. Yeah, do those disposable cameras have like the little time thing? I can't remember. Maybe they got Delilah to do it. And here we are. Something that, and I, don't, I don't know if it's going to list it in here, but um, some, and I don't even know if it's still a thing, but um, yeah, it's it is. It's not still a thing. Camera roll upload. You can upload and share your photos and even actually get them developed, which you is very cool. can't anymore. Bummer. Yeah. Well, you used to be able to do that. When we first played it, they had just wrapped up their, um, their production of actual physical photos. They used to actually mail you yeah. the photos. Now, we should put in an email address here, though, Let's because do uh, they'll send us digital copies still. Fantastic. They just won't do the actual printing. They eventually had to stop that. There we go. There we go. Click. And now we'll get the photos. Yay. The good, good photos. 
Uh, view, share, and even order prints there. Wow, cool. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you have all enjoyed this very good video game. It was really great getting to come back and visit it. Um, yeah. Subscribe, I guess, if you haven't already. To, I'm, I'm not going to do the whole spiel. Y'all have yourselves a very good one, and we will see you next week for something else. Yeah, maybe something a little more cheerful. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, let's do something fun next time. We've been we've been doing some like heavy dramatic stuff around lately. So something goofy and fun next week. Y'all yeah. take care. We'll see you then. Goodbye. Keep your eyes out for those problem bears. Yeah, watch out for problem bears. Get a protection turtle. That was my sign off, like on the radio. Oh. Like, keep your eyes on the skies. Man, hecked it up. Do get a protection turtle, though. Yeah. Highly recommend. Give it a toy. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>